Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind Feed the Beast Infinity Evolve server. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. I just woke up and my eyes are killing me. <laughs> I hope y'all guys are doing well. Today, it's, it's been a pretty short day so far, but it looks like everything's working all right. So, quick backstory before we get into today's episode, guys. I already had this episode done. It was done. It was over with. I had everything done, but unfortunately, something happened with my audio and audacity, and it's all gone. So I had to redo it. Yay! <laughs> so I get to redo it. Um, but I, unfortunately, I don't think that means that we're going to have a very interesting episode, but I'm going to try to make it as fun as possible for you guys. It's basically just kind of running through all the things that I did last night that I kind of can't do again, but it's going to be pretty good. So yeah, don't thank you guys for sitting down with me today. I have some good plans for today. Hopefully, we can get some good things done. You know, you know, to just kind of show off some quick things and have some fun before I have to leave. But so last night, I was messing around with something called a teleposer. I got some great comments from you guys, and I I posted the question: Is it would it be possible to move the Ender Crystal? So while I have that in your minds, just think back. Think if there would be any way, shape, or form possible to move them. So let's just go ahead and head over to the end and kind of just show off the crystal if you're unfamiliar on what it looks like. Um, oh, goodness. That's a lot of... Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I love, I love, I absolutely love my executive producer. If you missed last episode, we got the most powerful tool in the game and I love it to death. I love the executive producer. It's so powerful. Look at this. Goodbye. <laughs> Get intervals for days nowadays. But I wanted to find out how to move one of these. So I was doing some testing last episode and apparently I found something out very interesting. Um, at least I think I did. So, uh, so what I found is that this is two different entities. This isn't just an ender crystal. This is an end, the ender crystal part is this flat piece of half bedrock looking thing right here, and then the orb itself, and then there's actually a piece of bedrock right here. Um, so what I ended up doing was I was trying to move them. If you're unfamiliar on how to make the teleposers, I can actually show you guys really really quickly. I use these mostly just to move nodes around because I don't like using nodes in the nodes in the jar because they damage the nodes that you move. But that's the reason that I use it on my bright note that I found. But the way you make these teleposer focuses, all you got to do is not that recipe, but all you got to do is take a ender pearl and put it in a tier four blood altar. That's the, that's the really the main the main problem with this. Um, so, and I also offered the invitation last episode. If anybody on the server, I know Lapis would really want to use these things because she uses a lot of nodes for Thomcraft. But if she ever wanted to use my blood altar, she's more than welcome to go and, you know, make one of these bad boys. It doesn't really bother me. They're really inexpensive. Um, but, yeah, that's how you make the tele, tele, te, te, the teleposition focus. And then you have to make something called two of these teleposers, which take the teleposition focus. So, yeah. And the way that they work is that you're able to move entities, um, whether it's right above it or in a certain area. Uh, I don't know how big it gets. I know with each level of teleposer or teleposition focus, I think it moves a bigger area. I don't know the exact dimensions on hand, but you can move this. So what I was trying to do was trying to move the entire entity. And unfortunately, I found out, and I don't know whether or not this is a good thing or not. <laughs> so I found out that it doesn't move the, it doesn't move the entire ender crystal. Where's my button? I don't have my button on me. Where's my button? Dang it! Ah, I always lose something. Let's head back to the base. It doesn't just move the ender crystal. It actually moves something else, which is kind of worrisome because I feel like this could very possibly be the cheatiest thing I've found and modded in a long time. <laughs> so let's head back to the to the spot where the ender crystal's at. And let's head up here really, really quickly. Where'd he go? Oh, God. Uh, oh, I can't fly. Come on, fly, buddy. There we go. So it's over in this direction. So if I use this button, it doesn't just move the ender crystal. It moves the bedrock. <laughs> so, yeah, we can move bedrock now. So I just, that's a thing. Just keep that in mind. I can move bedrock now. 
<laughs> I have so much power. Um, but I ended up, what I ended up doing when I found that out, I freaked out because that could be used for such malicious things. No one, not everybody should have the power to be able to move an immovable block. So what I ended up doing is I took a piece of bedrock and I put it up here. I don't know why I wanted it, but it's just kind of a cool display for it. Like, I'm just, it's just right here. I just, I, I want to display a block that shouldn't be movable. I just like it. I don't know why. I just thought it would be pretty funny to have. So yeah, I have a piece of bedrock now. So if you are playing on a, pro a public server, please promise me that you won't use these teleposers to move bedrock in front of various places where people might want to go. That would be pretty bad. Don't do that. <laughs> so I don't know of any other way to actually pick up the bedrock, like to move it into an actual entity and be able to pick it up. I'm, I'm guessing there's probably a, a way to do it, but um, it's just not something that I would consider to be able to do right now. Um, at least not, at least I don't think I'd be able to do it. So the main reason why I wanted these things is so that I can move my, my nodes around. So when I, I went and grabbed my bright node, which if you're unfamiliar, yes, I did find a bright node and I moved it here. So it's it, it's it's the exact same way of moving them. All you gotta do is have two teleposers, um, one for receiving and one for sending. Is all, It's really simple to do. All you gotta do is take your teleposition focus, just right click on it. You don't even have to shift right click. You can try both, but it doesn't really need to do anything. And then just stick it in there, use your button as a redstone signal and then bam, you can move it easily from one place to another there, I don't know if there's a range as far as I'm concerned I don't think that there is a range because I moved this from the nether so I don't think this is I don't think there's an actual range for it which is really really cool so yeah if you ever so if anybody on the server wants to use my a blood altar to get one of these it's it's per, it's perfectly fine with me I, it doesn't bother me but yeah today I don't really know what I want to do today unfortunately I don't that was what I did last episode and I had so much fun using the teleposition focus I was trying to I was trying to move various objects because I can move bedrock now I can move nodes I was trying to find a way to move the ender crystal but I couldn't think of anything else I oh yeah there's one other thing that I tried to move hold on let's actually head back to the end I wanted to no let's, let's not go there I don't want to be here. I don't like it here. I don't like I don't like the chaos dragon place. Even though the dragon's gone, it's still I don't want to be in the nether. Um I want to be in the end spot. No, no. In in spawn. There we go. But there was one other thing I tried to move. And that was the end the end portal, which you can't move as far as I'm concerned, but you can get rid of it. So if you put the, the teleposition focus on that block and then try to move this, it doesn't move it, but it gets rid of it because it's not here anymore. So that's a thing. I wonder if there would be anything else in the game that could be moved by the teleposition focus. If you guys have any ideas on like really cheaty things that you want me to try to move with the teleposition focus, let me know in the down there. But I think that that was pretty funny to do. <laughs> so let me head back to the base, try to find something else I want to do today, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I've been just trying to chill out, trying to find something else to do. So I was thinking, last what, one of the things I was doing last night is I remember that I wanted to try to find new armor. Some Something about... I don't know. It's just something about modded that I really love armors. I don't, I, I just, I feel like it's like, like I've, I've said this before, but I feel like it's like a badge of honor. Like if I'm wearing the armor, I feel like I'm cooler because I have it. So I was looking through the NEI, trying to find stuff for it. No, no, I have Thom crapped up right now because I was looking up something, but I was looking up just chest plate, just looking at all the different chest plates that are possible in the game. And there are so many different ones. Personally, my favorite has to be the muddy chest plate just because of how awesome it looks. <laughs> but yeah, there is there's a there's there's a really good amount of different chest plates. But I was looking through here, and the ones that we have, of course, we have the draconium ones. We've had the wavering ones. Um, we've had the uh, terror still stuff that isn't here. I'm surprised. Hold on, let me actually chest. Is that actually widening out? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So, um, but we have a lot of different ones, but I was looking through a lot of the IC2 stuff, like the gravity chest plate and the advanced netto chest plate and the, the quantum suit and the nano suit. I would really love to get into IC2. I've done it before. I don't think I've ever done it on 
green, at least not the newer versions of it. I would really try to, I really want to try to get into IC2. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot of that on screen or a lot of off screen. Personally, I'm going to have to find a new area for it because if I try to interweave a lot of my IC2 stuff with my, uh, my my rf slash applied energistic slash new age stuff it kind of won't work together because ic2 eu power doesn't work with a lot of these machines which kind of stinks but um i do plan on wanting to do a lot of that i probably like i said i probably won't do a lot of it on screen but i do want to try to get these things just because i feel like it'd be like something fun to do at least for me um just because i like the look of them and i love i personally i used to use this a lot i used to use it a lot a long time ago whenever ic2 was still i don't know like mainstream i don't think it's mainstream anymore no one else, nobody in their right mind uses ic2 anymore just because of the fact that it's so old they haven't updated it in a long time and like the the armor itself became very um inefficient and very cost worthy considering what it is but yeah it is a, it's a thing so i'm probably going to be starting to get into ic2 just by myself i if you guys want to see it on screen let me know but the mod itself is just i don't feel like it's something that i would want to do on screen i just thought i'd tell you guys about that and talk to you guys about that and see if what you guys thought about that but other than that, I don't feel like there's anything else that I would be able to do today. I hate that these... I, I always hate it whenever I have an episode that's really, really short. Unfortunately, I don't have the... I, I really don't have the the extra time and stuff to be able to do anything else today. And it really hurts me to, to say that today's episode's over. I'm sorry. But we had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun moving around Bedrock and stuff. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching that. And, I, and you know, now that we have the teleposition focus, we're going to be able to do a lot more things, especially node related. And I'm going to start working more into Thomcraft, getting those machines. And not well, they're not kind of machines. They're just items in Thomcraft that I'm definitely going to want to start getting into. Um, hold on really quickly before we leave. Let's see. Is my Thomonomicon on me? Yes, it is. Um, I have a lot of things in here that I'm going to have to start half, half, just hit puberty. <laughs> I'm going to have to start unlocking like node stabilizers, whatever the heck these things are called. I don't remember. I want to start unlocking a lot of new stuff, like even these things. Like a lot of these I can unlock already. No, I can't because I don't have any of the Prodicio. But a lot of, I want to start unlocking wand focuses and stuff and start playing with those. I want to start working towards maybe getting some metal, no, that's metallurgy, magic, magic, magical metallurgy stuff. And even, I don't know, I, I am going to have to do it sooner or later, but I'm going to have to start collecting warp and start unlocking stuff like that. If you're unfamiliar on what warp is, it's kind of dangerous. Now, the way that wor warp works is the more that you get, the the more tainted your mind becomes. And that's when we can become thom crazy. <laughs> and then we'll start having hallucinations and we'll start seeing things and start vomiting out the thom warp. It's so weird. Thomcraft is a really messed up mod, but after a while, after re researching a lot of the dark arts, you literally, your, your game character in the game starts going crazy. <laughs> it's really weird. And sooner or later, we'll start getting into that. And I think that'd be a lot of fun. Same thing with the golems, maybe. I, I think it'd just be funny to have a bunch of golems just running around. I thought that'd be pretty funny. And there are a lot of other things that I'm going to have to get into. Um, a lot of what the... I know Thomcraft has their own enchantment systems and stuff like that. And of course, there's a, applied energistics with Thomcraft. I think that'd be a whole lot of fun to do sooner or later. But unfortunately, today, I am out of time. But... I had a lot of fun today, and I hope you guys did as well. So don't forget, I, I really hope that you didn't. But if you hated this video, you know where to put it. But if you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button, guys. As always, you guys have been doing amazing on my videos lately. And I just want to say thank you guys for all of your amazing support. We've been hitting freaking almost 20 likes a video. I, it's been amazing on all these FPS, uh, well, not FPS, but FTB Infinity episodes. And I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it. I really am glad that I, I never thought I'd get this much support on, on a series. And that just shows testament of how great you guys are and how amazing you guys are showing out every single day sharing the videos, showing your friends, hitting that like button, commenting down below. I, I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Because this channel as a whole can't do anything without you guys. So thank you guys for all of that. Don't forget to post out any questions, comments, or smart remarks in the comment section down there. I love hearing from you guys. And don't forget, if you, do, if you are brand new and you didn't make it to this part of the video for some strange reason, and I, I do want to say thank you, guy, for or gal, guy or gal, or 
gender not related. I mean, dog. I mean, if you are a dog and you're watching this video, <laughs> I'm kind of insane. I'm really tired. I just woke up. But if you didn't make it to this far in the video and you are brand new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a dime and it really helps the channel out. And also, one last shameless plug in. We, I know I keep mentioning this, but I do, I do encourage, and I do, I do feel like you guys would I'll love it if, if you guys felt like going to watch the UHC that Hypermind had together. Stuff, stuff is going to start picking up. I know in the beginning stages of uh, UHC, it's a lot of really boring, re like, like mining and stuff, but that's just how it needs to be. Like, you have to get armored up before the fight begins, but it's going to start picking up soon. I promise promise but we'll see you guys next time peace out and hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day i'll see you guys next time